So it's raining at the moment and I'm really not happy about it. The garden's very happy about it. It was starting to look quite dry out there and some plants were not handling it very well. But I'm a sun-loving person and I basically live in the wrong country for that. So today, to try and cheer myself up, I thought I would try and make the laundry system a lot more efficient than it currently is. At the moment what we have is a single dirty washing basket in each bedroom. Now this isn't the worst, but I don't like it for two reasons. For starters, small children tend to have very smelly clothes, and I don't like that once I've closed that door in the evening and I open it up in the morning, ugh, it's just, it's, it's not good. I do not like that, I do not like the smells that get trapped in there overnight. And then for the second reason, I don't like how I have to keep a mental checklist of how much brights, lights, darks and delicates there are to wash. It always means that there's something that slips through the cracks and every so often someone ends up not having enough trousers or underwear or shirts. So I want to make something that's very easy for me to just see in one glance, have everything organised immediately, any adults in the house sort out their own clothes. It's not up to me to later on go up to the basket and break everything up into its own category or whoever ends up doing the washing. And it also will help teach my son from a very young age how to organise his laundry because he will have that system, he'll have everything labelled so visually it should help him and it should make the whole process of teaching him how to manage the house as easy as possible and I'm all for making life as easy as possible. I knew that I wanted to have different baskets for different categories but I wasn't sure how to do this and have them up and off the floor. I don't like having things on the floor that are difficult to clean around just because it adds an extra irritation to your cleaning schedule and I found that if I make things as easy for me as possible I can just do them a lot more easily because I'm lazy to be perfectly honest and if you make the house chores as easy for you as possible it's so much easier to keep your house clean and I don't see the point in making life harder for myself. So I saw these garden hooks and thought, hang on, if I paint these, then that way I can label these. I don't have to label the baskets and then if one of the baskets break and I want to replace them, I can do that easily and I don't have to re-embroider something onto the basket. It also makes it very easy for everyone in the house or any guests to see exactly where everything goes and that makes my life easier too. And that's it, I'm done. At some point, I'm probably going to move these from the hallway into a little partition that we're going to do. We're going to make one of the rooms a little bit smaller and make a hallway with part of that space so that that way that area is my studio. But I would also like to have these properly fixed onto the wall because the current system is a little rickety. The strings holding up okay for the moment, but it's not a long-term solution. These will be much more solid once they're fixed. And yes, those are just tongue and groove floorboards. Eventually we are going to get some proper floorboard laminate like what we have in our bedroom. But for the moment, that's just how it is. And we will slowly tackle it like everything else in this house. If you like my content and want to follow me on Patreon, that's where you can find my early content, extra content, and see the thought process behind things like my books, cover designs, videos, and artwork. You can also find me on Instagram, but the best place to follow me and make sure that all my new content is sent directly to you is through my website and the mailing list. On the top right hand corner, you put your name, the email you want your new content to be sent to, and that's it. You're done.